let me move on to another area that uh, the FDA panel uh, highlighted, which was reader training. And currently, there are ACR practice guidelines that document very well um, what qualifies you to be a reader. And if you have uh, completed a radiology residency, uh, then you still need additional training in patient preparation, insufflation, and uh, image acquisition. Um, and additionally, you'll need uh, interactive review of at least 50 colonoscopy proven cases. And that's why, you know, through postgrad, we, we do run a CTC course, um, uh, and uh, we make sure that uh, attendees uh, have uh, reviewed at least 50 of the cases. We usually go over 50 cases, but we have to um, assure that they fulfill, I think, the ACR requirement. Uh, maintenance of competence is important, and the ACR uh, guidelines recommends that an, an additional 50 cases are reviewed uh, every two years. As you have probably heard, there are different ways that you can read CTC. You have your primary 2D technique as well as your primary 3D technique. Uh, the bottom line is that I think that you have to be trained uh, in both, uh, and uh, you'll use 2D and 3D, so it's complementary. And I think skill in both is actually necessary. And this is just demonstrating a lesion that appears more sessile on the supine view. I think you can see that here. But in the prone view, uh, this is actually a uh, pedunculated polyp. The various options on your 3D, you have your traditional fly through. This is a carcinoma that we're just flying by. And then multiple polyps uh, beyond that. You have your subvolume cube view, which you can rotate uh, 360 degrees. It's a nice way to easily problem solve lesions. And then one of the more novel views is your dissection view, which I'll talk a bit more about later. And so here's a uh, patient uh, where uh, the, we just passed the rectal tube. Uh, there's a large uh, pedunculated polyp, and we'll back up. And a lot of the uh, software is currently, uh, I think, progressed to the point where it decreases your interpretation time. So this has the option of automatically measuring the maximum diameter as well as the maximum volume and determining distance from the anal rectal junction. And all of that is easily imported into the report for you. The green line is actually a, uh, the center line generated by the computer algorithm. The holes in the wall are diverticula. We're passing another large polyp. We're going to turn around and turn on what's called a transparency or translucency view, which is a color map based on density. And this is used to primarily distinguish soft tissue from a tag stool. So if you have a higher density uh, lesion, uh, like tag stool, it'll show up as white with a soft tissue polyp as a red core. Just to show you what uh, some lesions look like, this is your typical annular carcinoma where you have uh, heaped up edges uh, and you can see the apocor lesion uh, in the sigmoid on the 2D. Typical appearance of stool is heterogeneous on 2D, uh, branched, angular, linear configuration on the 3D. Polyps are uh, typically soft tissue density, ovoid uh, in morphology. And again, uh, the ACR practice guidelines recommends that for the diminutive polyps, less than or equal to five millimeters, that you don't have to report these. Six to nine millimeter size uh, lesions are called small polyps, and anything above that is large. And here's just a demonstration of uh, a large pedunculated polyp. Flat lesions are tough for CTC. But you know what, they're tough for colonoscopy as well. And one of the key teaching points here is to make sure that you use your soft tissue windows because I think that they're actually much easier to identify uh, using soft tissue windows. Here's another lesion that's actually easier to identify, I think, on the 3D. When you look on the 2D view, it really is fairly uh, flat, and the definition is that it's less than three millimeters in height, and this certainly is less than three millimeters in height. But you can imagine if you're scrolling too fast that you would uh, scroll right by this.